Greetings, everybody. Get your King James Bible. Turn to the book of Isaiah, chapter 26. This is the continuation of the Isaiah commentary. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries, in John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Okay, Isaiah 26 and verse 1. In that day, what day? I think the last day. And when I say the last day, I'm speaking about the, pretty much the age, well, what some people call the age of the earth. Because there is going to come a time when the Lord returns and then it'll be the thousand year reign of Christ. There'll be a little season when Satan is re released from being locked up and after that it'll be eternity where time is measured no more. So, but as far as... Well, of course, there won't be this earth. There'll be a new heaven and a new earth. But uh, in that day shall this song be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. Salvation will God appoint for walls and bulwarks. Open ye the gates that the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in. Verse 3, this is a beautiful verse. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Keeping your mind on the Lord and trusting in him, your mind will You'll be in perfect peace. You won't need uh, anxiety medication. What do you think? So let's read that again. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Verse 4, Trust ye in the Lord forever. For in the Lord, Jehovah, Jehovah is everlasting strength. Uh, I know there's a lot of argument over how to pronounce the Lord's name. I'm not even sure the Lord wants us to try to pronounce his name as far as the sinful flesh is concerned. So, I don't know. Verse 5. For he bringeth down them that dwell on high, the lofty city he layeth it low, he layeth it low. Huh. He said that twice. Once physically. Once spiritually. He layeth it low. He layeth it low. Even to the ground. He bringeth it even to the dust. The foot shall tread it down. Even the feet of the poor and the steps of the needy. The way of the just is uprightness. Thou most upright dost weigh the path of the just. Yea, in the way of thy judgments, O Lord, have we waited for thee. The desire of our soul is to thy name and to the remembrance of thee. With my soul have I desired thee in the night. Yea, with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. For when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Let favor be showed to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. See, even to the wicked, 
God lets them have rain in their due season so that they can have crops to eat. And he shows them a lot of mercies, giving them time to repent. But there comes a day, just like it was in the days of Noah, that the hand of the Lord closes the door. And then that's it. So, verse 11, Lord, when thy hand is lifted up, they will not see, but they shall see and be ashamed for their envy at the people. Yea, the fire of thine enemies shall devour them. Lord, thou wilt ordain peace for us, for thou also hast wrought all our works in us. O Lord, our God, other lords beside thee have had dominion over us, but by thee only will we make mention of thy name. They are dead. They shall not live. They are deceased. They shall not rise. Therefore hast thou visited and destroyed them and made all their memory to perish. Now this is, this is prophecy, people. Uh, the wicked, I mean, the Lord speaks something in the future as if it's already passed, because when the Lord says something's going to happen, it's going to happen. Maybe not in our lifetime, but it will happen. They are dead, they shall not live, they are deceased, they shall not rise, therefore hast thou visited and destroyed them and made all their memory to perish. Thou hast increased the nation, O Lord, thou hast increased the nation, thou art glorified, Thou hast removed it far unto all the ends of the earth. Lord, in trouble they have visited thee. They poured out a prayer when thy chastening was upon them. Like as a woman with child that draweth near the time of her delivery is in pain and crieth out in her pangs, so have we been in thy sight, O Lord. We have been with child. We have been in pain. We have, as it were, brought forth wind. We have not wrought any deliverance in the earth, neither have the inhabitants of the world fallen. Thy dead men shall live. Thy dead men shall live. The Lord's dead men shall live. Together with my dead body shall they arise. Now, this is speaking of the resurrection. Awake and sing, ye that dwell in dust, for thy dew is as the dew of herbs, and the earth shall cast out the dead. Now in the book of Revelation, chapter 20 and verse 13, we read, And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged, every man, according to their works. Huh. Did you know we're judged according to our works? Um, judged. That's not salvation. So, but we're going to be judged according to our works. All right, back to Isaiah 26, verse 19. The dead men shall live, together with my dead body shall they arise. Awake and sing, ye that dwell in the dust, for thy dew is as the dew of herbs, and the earth shall cast out the dead. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment, until the indignation be overpassed. Now, I think, I believe that this is referring to when the Lord brings his wrath upon the earth. And that's what it means by hide yourself. Hide yourself from the world. Because the world's going to be judged, uh, you know, read the book of Revelation. They talk about 
Armageddon and all this stuff. Well, one day it's going to happen. There's going to be God's wrath upon the earth. And one thing the churches cannot and will not divide is Satan's wrath against the church and God's wrath against the world. There is a difference. Persecution of the church by the wicked evil ones is not God's wrath. And all these people that believe in the pre-trib rapture, they don't, they, you know, all they know is what their, their 501c3 pastor tells them. I mean, they don't read the Bible. They have no idea what it says. They don't ask any questions. And if they did ask questions, they'd be told to leave. I know that for a fact because it's happened to me a number of times. Uh, I wish I had a church to go to. I really do. But that's the way it goes. God's people are a remnant. That's all they're going to be. I mean, look in the days of Ahab and Jezebel. Uh, you had Elijah, and the Lord told him that uh, I think there was seven or 8,000 people in the whole nation that had not bowed the knee to Baal or Baal. Seven or 8,000 out of probably well over a million people. I mean, that is, that's terrible. And it's going to be not much different in the end times. You know, even the Bible says that uh, when he, Jesus said, when I return, shall I find faith in the earth? Because they're going to kill God's people. They're going to kill them for their faith in Christ. And uh, I was paraphrasing that there, but... Uh, you know, that was in Luke 18 and verse 8. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Who? The Lord's going to avenge his people speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? Good question. Will he? All right. So, come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment, until the indignation be overpassed. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish, to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. Oh yeah. When the Lord comes to punish the world, look out, people. All right. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. In Jesus' precious name, all glory and honor to Him. Amen.